So here it is, everybody. This is DLC5 confirmed. You're watching a live DLC5 gameplay. I was actually invited out to Treyarch to try it. No, I'm just kidding. This is not DLC5 gameplay. But the fact that this looks so real and such like a actual Black Ops 3 Zombies map is amazing. And that's because this, my friends, is one of the first ever, first ever Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies maps. Now, if you're not familiar with Custom Zombies, Custom Zombies is something that you you play and you make based off of mod tools. So let's, let's go ahead, let's take it back a few minutes and, uh, and, and talk about kind of what mod tools are, if you're not familiar, and what this means for Black Ops 3 Zombies after mod tools are released to the public. Because right now they're in very, very private alpha, only a few people have them, and I was actually given this gameplay by my man Zeroy. You can check his channel out in the description down below. He's the one who made this map and sent me this gameplay. He's a very, very nice guy to do that, and uh, he's absolutely the MVP because this is just such such an amazing experience to be able to see this and uh, and see how well the Black Ops 3 Zombies mods are coming along already but let's go ahead and talk about this so every uh, I won't say everyone because there are some mods for Black Ops 1 because they had a very limited set of modding ability on Black Ops 1 but basically every single modded map that you've ever seen on my channel or on anyone's channel has been a world at war modded map the game that came out years ago was the last game that had mod tools. This was the last game that you were able to make custom zombies and everything like that. If you remember back, if you uh, if you watch any of my videos like that, like the Mob of the Dead 2.0, the SpongeBob zombies, all of that is actually World at War gameplay that has just been modded. Now, obviously World at War has been out for a long, long time. It's not gonna be the greatest kind of like looking stuff. It doesn't have a lot of processing power. It's a very, very old engine and system and everything like that, which is why it never really has the greatest quality or uh, look or anything like that. But now that we have Black Ops 3 mod tools, it is going to allow us to do the exact same thing. We're gonna be able to make maps. We're gonna be able to mod in custom guns and everything like that, like very, very near future. I actually know that some modders have actually done this already. Some modders have added in guns from the division into Black Ops 3 using mod tools. Obviously, uh, it's not available to the general public or anything like that, just because in the general public uh, is not invited to be a part of the uh, the closed alpha yet. But whenever they do release this, it's going to be playable for everyone. You're going to be able to literally hop on your PC, download a mod that lets you play with advanced warfare guns and zombies, and you're going to be able to play it. If you want to download a mod that, say, lets you shoot a gun that shoots SpongeBob's out and kills people with SpongeBob, it's gonna be possible with Black Ops 3 modules, which is why this is such huge news for zombies. Because as you know, I've, I'm still playing custom custom zombies on World at War to this day. Now with this new updated system, we're gonna get more mods, more map makers, more modding ability, and the, the ability to make these amazing looking maps. Here's a little example for you guys. The map that you're looking at right now was made in 12 minutes. This map was made in 12 minutes, and it looks like a legitimate, obviously it's not like it's detailed, there's like some some bugs and everything like that, but this map is, is looks like an actual Treyarch map, because it's using Treyarch's assets, it's using uh, the, the wall buys, the, the everything that Treyarch has already in the game. The, all he has to do is make the walls, place the walls, make the walls bigger or smaller or anything like that, and he literally can can make a map that looks like a legitimate zombies map in 12 minutes, which is just absolutely crazy. Like, it, it's just so, so cool to see that you can make something this intricate in just 12 minutes. Obviously, this is now, like, modded in. I know, I know. again, some people have brought in guns from the Division and everything like that, but uh, this is a very basic map, which is why it took so little time. But this is amazing news for zombies. This basically is the DLC 5 of zombies because from now until people stop making the mods, we're going to have new maps coming out. We're going to have new mods that we can play on Black Ops 3 Zombies. If you ever wanted to, again, just do some crazy stuff like play as Thor and Zombies, someone's probably going to bring that mod over to Black Ops 3 Zombies and you're going to be able to play it using the Black Ops 3 system rather than the World at War system with the three hit downs and everything like that. And it's just going to be all updated and all beautiful. And I literally, I literally can't wait. So. Uh, that's been this map. This was just again a little 12 minute map I'm gonna switch over to some gameplay from my man Chris C and uh, he goes by Yugo I'm gonna get again include both their descriptions and both their videos in the description down below so you can check out their channels But uh, he basically has just showed off very very simple map. This is again black ops 3 zombie system uh, Obviously, there are some bugs and everything like that going around in it and the zombies get stuck and everything like that But this is literally like hey, I'm gonna go into I'm gonna just create a little plane You're gonna spawn in here and all the perks are gonna be here 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 here, I'm gonna put the power over here, everything like that, and uh, it's gonna be good to go. You're gonna be able to, to just play the map normally from there. So, um, just 
I, I, I can't express to you guys how good of news this is, and I wanted to show you guys some brand new gameplay from it so you could get uh, get an idea of what it looks like, what is possible with this, and uh, kind of gauge your guys' interest on do you want me to see, do you want to see me just playing basically every single new map that comes out? Because every single one's going to be like a new DLC, and that is extremely exciting. Do you guys want to see me doing lots of videos, lots of everything like that, showing off all these maps, yes or no? So uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, check out the dudes who were kind enough to let me use their gameplay, and I will see you guys in the next video. Adios, my friends.